Thanks. So uh, I want to start the presentation in a, a little bit different way because uh, the title is already set. So I want to say that uh, uh, I have two challenges which is I'm facing at the moment. One of the challenges is to uh, to try to fight with my stress because I'm a little bit nervous. But uh, and uh, another challenge is to keep your attention because it's the last uh, talk in this session. Uh, but I hope that that is still be okay because we have here a very interesting presentation. Uh, because uh, yes, we talk we talk about uh, small companies and uh, also I think that it is very interesting because we have here uh, the name of Infraplace and Infraplace is a name that uh, in this audience I guess that people doesn't know. So it's also a, a little bit intriguing and uh, I think that it can be uh, very interesting. And uh, the last thing what I want to say in the start is that uh, I'm talking off only on myself but uh, uh, of our entire team, of our whole team. Uh, it sounds that we have very big team, uh, but uh, we have four people, so uh, it's not very big team, but uh, yeah, I talk in, uh, on behalf of our team. So let's get started. And I think that it is, uh, in this uh, stage of presentation, what we need to know is that Infraplace is a company that provides the uh, uh, utility, okay, engineering network uh, management uh, solutions for companies which is supporting this uh, engineering networks. And, uh, uh, it is very easy to answer the question for who, because uh, in the title we have that uh, for small utility companies now, uh, and why it is a little bit more difficult question, and uh, maybe it is more easier to to answer this question who is from Australia, uh, because uh, they know that we have the uh, topography and uh, engineers infrastructure information system, and. Uh, uh, I don't want to talk very, very much about the system. I will talk. Uh, I will say uh, later on that it is this. It will be shortened. And uh, uh, the main thing here is that we have uh, we have too many uh, laws which is talking about cryptography and GIS in Lithuania. But one of them is uh, the law on GIS and cryptography of the Republic of Lithuania. And in this law, we have uh, uh, many rules. Uh, I can say the rules, but uh, one of them is that companies which is managing engineering networks, they are required to submit data on network objects to the disk. So, uh, in this uh, stage, we need to understand that uh, there is a small, uh, for example, small utility companies which just need to upload the data to the disk. And uh, it seems that it is not very difficult. Now, you can have a company, you can, uh, for example, uh, try to, uh, to find some software and uh, do something on yourself, but uh, it's not very easy because uh, uh, the structure, uh, the spatial data provided to the disk must comply with the structure of uh, the other data set. One more term, which is not very uh, interesting, but uh, the most interesting thing that uh, is in the right of that slide is that uh, there is a structure, and this structure is not very simple, you know. Uh, for, for example, for people who is not, uh, sometimes they don't know, they know what is GIS. Uh, so, for people who don't know what is GIS, they really don't, uh, don't uh, know what is QGIS or something else, open source. So, for them, start uh, from this level, uh, where you have the structure, something like that, it's not very easy. So, th uh, this is a problem for them. And, uh, for example, for people who are sitting, sitting here, I guess that, for example, if you see that uh, uh, numbers of the layers, not very big for a problem, no? But the uh, problem for, for, for persons who is not working this GIS, also the classifiers. For example, you can say that, okay, we have classifiers, it, it maybe can be easier for me to, to, to edit the data or do something else, but for them it is, uh, you can say that it's uh, maybe 40 more problems. Uh, and so it, it's not very easy for them. And uh, especially that uh, the persons who is working in small utility companies usually look like uh, this, and uh, they are very good persons, they are very good people, they are very good specialists, but uh, in completely different fields. Uh, and uh, uh, they are working in the field, for example, they are doing uh, the uh, own job, uh, which is uh, uh, very, very different than to sitting uh, 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 with this computer and uh, doing uh, something with, for example, GIS. And uh, not only for people who is working in the field, for example, there is a people who can work with AutoCAD, but from all go from AutoCAD to GIS, it's also not very simple. So, uh, there is a problem, and uh, one of the problems, uh, which is also very big, is that uh, you can't avoid this. You, you, can't run, you can't run away from this problem, not just because you have a law, and you need to 
to, to uh, uh, there is a rule that you need to upload the data to this, so there is no other way that you, you, you can do. So uh, they are uh, starting to uh, thinking what they can do, and uh, they started thinking uh, about possible other solutions, and uh, uh, usually they try to thinking about, uh, for example, software, where they can uh, uh, evaluate the data, where they can event and administer the data, and uh, when they start starting about uh, thinking about the software, one more time, uh, we need to understand that uh, these people doesn't know uh, about the JS. And when they, for example, uh, start to searching for, for, for some software, and they see, for example, their images, which is here, and uh, it, uh, for us, for example, for it, it's very easy to say that this is a commercial piece software, but this is open source. Uh, I guess that every, everyone can say that this is IPS Pro, this is QGS, okay? For them, both is very similar. Uh, and uh, they don't see very, uh, very big uh, differences. And uh, uh, also, there is also uh, there is a problem in general that uh, sometimes we try to uh, choose uh, our software, for example, by, in, uh, by interface or how we design. So uh, it's not very good. And uh, when they try to search for, for software, for example, they uh, uh, the, when you don't understand very good uh, the software, when you don't understand what is JS, it is difficult to see the very uh, uh, big uh, differences. You know, you see the general situation and you can say that uh, both of them is new and complicated for you. And also that uh, both of them is a wise time and effort to learn uh, how to use the software and uh, both of them is very similar. But uh, there is one uh, difference uh, which uh, they need. See, because uh, one more time, these small little components you now, and this is uh, very uh, important for them that one of the software is paid or one of them is unpaid. And when you don't use the GIS software uh, before, um, it, uh, it doesn't matter where you can start or from this or from this, you know. So for them, it is very important uh, uh, this, uh, that one of them is paid and one of them is unpaid. So it is not very difficult to guess which type of uh, software our solution includes. Uh, so we are talking uh, about uh, open uh, source uh, JS. And uh, okay, one more time about infra plays. Uh, it is uh, mm, a very young team uh, because we start uh, developing our solutions in 2022 in July. So. Uh, our team is uh, specific because we have uh, uh, our team lead is a lecturer uh, and we are students, so it is uh, also very interesting. Uh, uh, and uh, as I said before, we are a company which is uh, uh, providing the solutions for organizations, uh, which is managing uh, utility networks and they work with uh, the spatial data. And uh, uh, one the, in this slide, what is uh, most important that uh, uh, our customers now working with uh, open source this software, and uh, there is no that uh, example when you, for example, want to say that uh, uh, we can do uh, the both uh, um, products with uh, open GIS and with uh, uh, commercial software. Uh, this example is that uh, there is a customer who is now using uh, open source uh, GIS, and they started from the beginning and. Uh, now, when they're working with open uh, GIS in our environment, I can say, because I, I will talk about it later on, uh, they don't have very much questions, because uh, it is uh, not only the software where you, where you can do something, but there is uh, created a whole environment. And uh, when we're talking about exactly about our solution, I don't want to talk very much about the technical way that what we have here, but uh, we need to talk a little bit about it. And, uh, for example, uh, uh, there is an example where we have the solution for, for small utility companies, we have for a few people, uh, and uh, in this solution we have, for, uh, for example, data, some data group maps, uh, some editing forms, and something else, and uh, now we can see how it looks like. Uh, it is uh, mm, a real, real solution, uh, there is a print from, from our customers, so uh, one of the most interesting things is that, uh, okay, we all know that uh, in QGIS, for example, we can create some uh, forms like this, uh, but uh, uh, we uh, we don't do it this uh, very usual because for us uh, it's uh, not very big deal to, to, for example, edit data in that table. 
for, 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 for persons who is not working with GIS, for example, who is first time open to uh, open source uh, GIS, uh, GIS software and uh, is, for example, open uh, the attribute table where it's uh, kind of 40 uh, fields, it, it's not very easy for them. So this form is very helpful. And uh, here we have some, for example, groups where they can, where they can, where they can find uh, uh, exact uh, uh, data. Uh, also, these groups can be uh, changed and uh, changed uh, how they want, how our customers want. Uh, there is some, for example, uh, where there is a drop down list because uh, uh, it's, it's very interesting that, uh, for example, there is uh, uh, some uh, attributes where there is uh, classifiers. But uh, when you see the data of how it was managed before, you can see, for example, that in th in this attributes can be uh, three values from classifiers. But when you, you check in it, you find five values. Okay? So there is uh, some mistakes. And uh, when you have uh, uh, the good links uh, to classifiers, uh, it can help to avoid the problems. And uh, also, what this can help us to avoid the problems is to automatically fill in where it is possible. So here we have some uh, automatic filling with uh, uh, editor name, editing time, uh, creator name, creator time. Uh, also, uh, we have automatic, for example, data where when they draw a line, it is automatically uh, fills the length. So it is uh, more easier for them to uh, manage the data and uh, everything is uh, built uh, with triggers. And uh, uh, it, you don't need uh, some extensions, you don't need uh, plugins, uh, you can uh, this uh, pro uh, product is done with uh, uh, triggers and uh, some more uh, solutions, but uh, these triggers can help, for example, fill uh, global IDs, it can uh, help to uh, automatically fill some values. And uh, what is, uh, was very interesting for me is that, for example, you can help uh, people to avoid the mistakes, and when we uh, give uh, our customers the map projects, and they can also uh, avoid the problems that uh, they, for example, remove some layers or do something else because we have a trigger and they can do any changes in that project uh, which is original, you know? So they can't remove something. Uh, they can edit the data, but they can't remove or make changes with that project. So it helps also uh, remove uh, possible uh, mistakes. Uh, and uh, uh, there is a tool, for example, one of the example of tool, uh, which is uh, uh, we can uh, uh, export the data which is uh, similar to the structure of this and uh, also it is uh, very good because uh, there is uh, uh, in the, in the end there is uh, more uh, difficult uh, uh, situations than this because here our customers can only choose where they want to uh, export the data and click one button and uh, this is done by, by you. So, there is uh, a description so because we try not only to, to, to show them one, one time how to do it or uh, only to say that there is a tool and to do what you want to do, but uh, we try to, 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 to uh, learn uh, something. So, yes, and all of this is uh, in one uh, file storage. And uh, uh, this uh, file storage, when we have small little companies, uh, uh, from our uh, customers for now, is, uh, this file is less than 30 megabytes, so it is uh, uh, not a very big uh, file. And uh, there is map project, there is uh, data sets, uh, there is uh, all triggers, tools, and, and everything what you need. So uh, what is very important is that uh, if there is one file, and for example, if uh, people want to use uh, the solution, you can uh, say, okay, you need to download QGIS, and you can uh, we give you this your package and you need to connect uh, and uh, start working. So that's also, uh, but uh, when I say in this uh, very easy way, we need to understand that for them it is still not very easy to use them. So what we have, we have a training platform uh, where they can uh, find uh, everything what they need. Uh, I think that uh, it is very important to say uh, uh, that we creating everything in that way that uh, everything uh, they find everything what they need exactly what they need. Uh, also in the map project they find also what they need. There is a project where is layers. Uh, also there is what what they need. There is uh, exactly that. And in training platform also there is a written, there is no one hundred videos. 
There is a video which is help you to start working. If you, uh, for example, uh, give them your package file, so they need to connect the your package file. There is a video about it. Then they are trying to open the NAT project. Uh, it is difficult for them, yes, but there is a video where you, they can find it and uh, do it easily. And then there is uh, how to break the data, how to edit the data, how to edit attributes, uh, and there is uh, everything in these videos, and there is no videos which, is, which they don't need. You, know? you don't uh, want to go with a very big platform, there is a very uh, uh, big uh, number of videos uh, where you can find how to do spatial analysis with 100 uh, uh, tools, there is exactly what they want. Yeah. So it, it helps, for example, because uh, as I said before, our customers now using uh, our uh, solutions, and uh, uh, there is no very uh, big questions for us. It is, uh, uh, we think that it is uh, uh, very good for us because uh, uh, we made it a product where people can uh, find everything what they want, and uh, uh, I think that. Uh, we have created an environment where simple can be simple. This is the main point, I think, of this presentation. And uh, it is very uh, important because, uh, as I said before, the people who is not uh, working with GIS, who is not who know what is GIS, and uh, it is very difficult for them. When you see from uh, your own perspective, it seems that some, uh, uh, some tools, uh, some uh, uh, process it's very uh, uh, easy, but uh, for people who's not working, it's not easy. So uh, we try to do everything that and simple can be simple. So uh, uh, we need to be honest and to say that uh, there is uh, some challenges and issues too. So I uh, have a uh, few minutes, so I can talk a little bit about it. And uh, one of the problem is uh, that uh, it is not very easy to reach uh, the companies, uh, small utility companies, because. Uh, uh, well, as I said before, also, uh, they don't know what is JS, and it is very difficult to, to show them that. Uh, okay, if, if you don't know what is JS, you maybe don't know what is open source JS, and you don't really know what is QJS, and you really, really don't know what is interface. So we, we try to do everything that we reach with these people, uh, these companies, and uh, it's very interesting that when we reach, for example, them and we show our solutions for them, it is, uh, it, it, um, it is a big chance that it can be a deal, you know? Because it, when they saw that uh, there is no that way that you uh, give them uh, software and uh, you do, uh, I know what we, what we want to do here, if there is a software and you do something. Uh, we try to, to, to create an environment where they can find everything what they need and uh, there is no problem for them to find some videos, to, to find that math project and something else. And uh, one more problem uh, is uh, uh, I'm not uh, only working in uh, this intra place, I'm also a student of cartography in the Vilnius University. And as I said before, we have a lecturer in our team, we have a students in our team. So uh, there is a, I, I think that is a, a little bit of a brief statement, uh, which is uh, in, uh, here, that uh, at university, uh, okay, I. I can say that uh, in our university that uh, maybe it will be less problems. Uh, in our university, in our social study program, uh, we learn to be more employees rather than creators. So uh, uh, we think that uh, there is no enough focus on open uh, source here. Yes, and uh, we don't say that uh, uh, commercial software or open software, uh, one of them is better or something else. But there is a problem, for example, our university, from me as a student, that uh, uh, you uh, learning some, uh, everything uh, for, uh, with commercial software and uh, sometimes uh, you are in the same situation as a small company workers because uh, you also don't know many alternatives, you know? You know one that there is uh, this software and you need uh, uh, to use it. And uh, uh, okay, you can uh, finish your studies, you can uh, uh, do something on your own, you can download the open source GIS and uh, you can use it, you can try to learn something. But uh, also, it, it seems that uh, we can have also some more, maybe. Uh, um, Things in the university, in our study program, where we can use 
uh, a little bit more open source uh, JS and it can help because I'm thinking before when I come here, I think if, if for example, our, my brand will work in small utility company, they say, okay, I need uh, the solution, we need uh, to, for example, uh, use this software, and I know you have finished the uh, studies of Cartograph and JS, uh, you can help us. And uh, uh, maybe I don't know, no, I can help you because uh, I need some help. Uh, for example, uh, it is very good that in our team there is a professional who is using open source GIS in the city board because if we are only the students, it will be very difficult for us also to create uh, uh, this solution and to make it. Uh, as I, as uh, I showed you before, that unsimple can, uh, can be simple. Maybe it will be very unsimple for us too. So, uh, okay, I see that I am out of the time. So, thanks for attention. Thank you, Moses, for a very good uh, presentation. We were very quick. We could have had more minutes if you wanted to. But, uh, but I appreciate the agility. Uh, how big is your market here in Do you know? I mean, small utility companies, how many of them are there? Uh, exact numbers, I don't know, but uh, there's no saying, yeah, about uh, uh, over 100, I guess, yes. Okay, and how many are your customers already? Uh, few of them, uh, but it's growing. Okay, good to hear, good to hear. Um, this uh, system, the government system, this only accepts uh, 2D formats of, uh, uh, of GIS data, correct? Yeah, uh, yeah, so this uh, system is uh, yeah. putting the QB Okay, well, we have a lot of questions on Slack. If anybody wants to ask a question from the audience, personally, straight from person to person, not through some server, then you can also do that. Uh, but, uh, but so far, we will take them. Uh, uh, questions from the uh, Slido. So I will highlight one and uh, let's take this one. If I understand it correctly, your product is basically a customized QGIS plugin. I think that uh, it don't understand correctly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's not a plugin. You know, it, it, it's simply a way of how to understand the solution is that uh, there is a, a yellow package file where it's uh, Data sets, so this net project, and this uh, everything what it, what you need. And uh, uh, when you start into your work, you need to download the QGIS and uh, to uh, connect to the database. I guess yes. Okay, I hope that answered your question. Where uh, Mr. or Mrs. Anonymous is, uh, you can ask that. Uh, but later on, you can go to go to uh, him uh, directly and ask uh, if you can if he can explain it again. Uh, what has been your revenue? So a very straightforward question. It's a very straightforward uh, for question for me because uh, I don't know what is the revenue. So how much uh, money is flowing uh, to the company? Oh, this is uh, not a question, but I guess for this one. Yeah, business uh, question. Okay, let's skip it. Uh, but it, it, it had two votes, so more than one person wanted to know. Uh, how much your solution costs? Next question. Okay, next uh, answer. Uh, I think you have customers here in the audience, so <laughs> be, uh, be, be careful. If there is a customer, they can uh, go to us and talk uh, personally. Okay, so there's no fixed price, it's you're very customer oriented to see how they're. Uh, no, uh, in our solution, there is no that uh, we uh, try to, to see. Uh, for example, how big is it? That's a company, and uh, you can try to, to, to see what is the price. So uh, it is uh, not that fixed, but uh, it's not the way it Okay. Well, I understand the question is you, you want to understand the value you can provide to the customer, and based on that, the customer can then more or less tell you how much they're willing to pay. And it's a kind of a discussion, not a forced price. like. You have to pay this much, right? Okay, good. Uh, are you in other countries as well, operating? For now, no, but uh, if there is any, uh, anyone who wants to <laughs> contact with us or uh, cooperate, so we are open. Yeah. But your solution is very much focused towards the uh, Latvian government uh, system, which is. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, I'll probably make that mistake a couple of more times. But uh, your solution, do you know, is other governments in other countries are using similar system? I guess that uh, there is a very good uh, solution in that way. Also, that uh, it can be changed. Uh, you know, and for example, if there is a different structure, we can do it, and uh, it helps also to use open source because it's also very good to do it. Uh, next question, any guess why no open source open data in universities? Uh, what, 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 uh, I can say the example that uh, in Lithuania, in the study of Kartoka and JS, uh, this example that uh, I don't, uh, don't can't say exact numbers, but for example, we have about two uh, courses which is uh, where you can try to do something with open source JS, and there's about eight courses where you can do everything with commercial open source, the commercial software. So uh, I think that it is a problem. Good question. Uh, I was waiting till this question comes up. Uh, security of uh, your solution. How secure is data? I mean, uh, have you thought about it? Uh, yes, look, it, it, it is uh, secure. It, it, it's, it's not open data or something else. So it's, uh, we do everything that uh, secure. Okay. It, it's That's not a cloud not. solution, right? So you don't upload your data to somewhere in the cloud, some other server, yes. right? Because it's on the computer of the user. Yes, it is uh, you know, our customers uh, and they then put in that disk, so <laughs> that's no problem. But uh, tell me, regarding the utility network information in Lithuania, I got right. uh, is it uh, available openly? Because this government system that collects all the information can I access it, or can anybody access it, or is it restricted information? Well, now, I can't say it very exact because I don't know what is the situation for now. Uh, because uh, you can, I, I guess that you can see them, uh, uh, but uh, not, uh, you can't uh, to zoom in very much, you know? uh, or maybe this uh, for now is uh, because of situation at all. It's, uh, or, yeah, because in Estonia, in Estonia you can actually get the, the, the location of utility networks with basically as open data. You can see the restriction zones and even the, the objects to some extent. Uh, so I was wondering how that uh, situation is there. Uh, so we have a few, a few more questions, uh, some of them already about price, uh, uh, different uh, markets. We already talked about that. Um, what is more important to your customer, price or functionality? <laughs> I am very happy that there is so much questions about uh, price and uh, something else. And uh, if there is, I see there is a number of questions which is uh, talking about price, and uh, this is a person who is interested in our products. So I, I, I really get this about this content. Yeah. And uh, maybe we should have a poll on you know how much would you be willing to pay, and then we only have very high numbers there. Uh, but uh, but regarding licensing, is it per seat, organization, term, or permanent uh, subscription? What is the business model there? Uh, there is uh, uh, our help is uh, for I don't know. It is uh, uh, you need to contact with us and uh, to uh, to deal with uh, details. You know, it is very difficult to say exact uh, for our customers because. We are honest uh, for us and also for our customers, so we try every time to, 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 to find the, uh, the, the perfect way on them. Uh, not only for, for us, but also for them. And uh, we do it uh, really honest, not, not only there is uh, some provision mission, you know, in the, our website, but we do it honest. My recommendation is stop asking on Slido, you have cost us here, and you will use the coffee break. Grab his hand, tell him, I want your solution. How much do you want from me? <laughs> Thank you, boss.